What's up weirdos? I'm Felicia and I like scary movies and today I have a present for you and it is this piece of paper. It is my favorite horror movies of 2019. Now two things. One, I didn't see every single movie that came out in 2019. I saw most of them I believe but I'm sure I missed some so if I missed one of your favorites let me know what it was down below and I'll be sure to watch it. And the other thing is I'm not going to go into plots or anything like that. I'm just going to give a little tiny spiel on each of these and why I love them. So let's get into it. Paper number 10. Haunt. Haunt was written and directed by Scott Beck and Brian Woods and this was just such a nice wonderful surprise for me. A couple of movies came out around Halloween this year that were just such a disappointment for me and Haunt I didn't know anything about. I watched it and I loved every second of it. It's the perfect Halloween slasher haunt movie. It is spooky. It is October themed. It is about a haunted house and there are teenagers dying and we just love it. We just love it. Who got the number nine spot? Let me find out. It is Ma. So underappreciated. Ma was one of my, I mean, obviously one of my faves of the year. It stars Octavia Spencer is directed by Tate Taylor, who both you will know from The Help, but they were also roommates when they first moved to Hollywood and they're both genre fans, especially Octavia Spencer, which I just find so exciting. And so to have Octavia Spencer playing this amazing villain Ma, it's just, it's thrilling. It is a fun movie. I even went to see it with my boyfriend and he had a blast and he's not even a huge horror movie person and he loved it and I'm just saying underappreciated. Next up, number eight, we have Satanic Panic. This movie's awesome. It was directed by Chelsea Stardust, written by Grady Hendrix, and stars Haley Griffith. So Haley Griffith was interviewed on this channel. Love you, Haley. Uh, I will link that down below along with any reviews I have for any of the movies that I mention. But this movie has a lot of really fun practical effects. It is funny, it is silly, the gore is excellent, and it's just, ah, I love it. I love rich people satanic cults, oh god. Okay, next up, Seven. I almost missed this movie because in my brain, I was like, oh, that's like a 2018 movie. <laughs> no. The number seven spot goes to Braid. This was written and directed by Mitzi Perrion, who I did interview on this channel as well. I swear I'm not being biased. Maybe I am. It's my list. I don't care. But this movie is like a trippy psychological thriller with these three women that are sort of like dolls in this giant man falling apart mansion. I just, ugh. The aesthetic is very me, and I love that. It also has, I just forgot her name, Madeline Brewer, who you'll know from uh, Cam, which is an excellent movie from 2018, and also Handmaid's Tale. Anyways, that's another one I feel like not enough people have seen, so please go check it out. Next up, number six, we have Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. I love this movie. I love this movie. I love these books. I think this is like the perfect gateway horror film. If you guys have kids, this is like scary. It has amazing monsters in it, but still feels accessible for younger audiences, which I think is actually really important because those are the movies that get kids into the horror genre. And I mean, that's what got me into it were literally those books. So I loved it, particularly the creature designs. I just, mm, just so good. Number five, we have Ready or Not. This I was late to the game on. I just saw it for the first time however many weeks ago that was. This is a, a perfect horror comedy. It is just bananas and fun. And Samara Weaving may be our greatest final girl of all time. I know that's a big statement, but that's what I love to do here is make big, big statements. <laughs> but she's amazing. Literally, I was like applauding for her at the end of the movie. It is so freaking fun. This movie also has my favorite ending of the year because it is not what I expected and I just laughed out loud. Freaking incredible. Best ending ever. Love it. Number four, we have Tigers Are Not Afraid. Some people have put this on their list from last year, but it came to um, Shudder this year so I could finally see it. So I'm putting it on my 2019 list. And Tigers Are Not Afraid is a freaking beautiful horror film. It was written and directed by Issa Lopez, takes place in Mexico and follows this group of kids that are having like this really, really hard life, but also have these like wild imaginations and these dark entities that are following them. And there's just a lot going on, but it's really, really beautiful. If you guys have Shudder, please watch Tigers Are Not Afraid. It will blow your mind. And now for our top three. I think these are gonna be pretty clear. And it's, it's funny because when I got to my top three, I was like, are these too obvious? And I was like, Sometimes things are just that good and you don't have to be ashamed. So here we are. Number three, Us. Jordan Peele's follow-up feature after doing Get Out last year. 
it's amazing. A lot of people said, hey, it's not as good as Get Out. And I said, hey, it's a really different movie than Get Out. Us is amazing. I don't think I ever actually did a review for it on this channel because I watched it too late, but I do have the Blu-ray now as well. And it is just so artfully done and so Jordan Peele and so strange, which I really appreciate for such a big budget movie. It also has a very perfect blend that Jordan Peele is getting so good at, which is the horror and the comedy working together in a way that doesn't make it a horror comedy, but it gives us some relief. Number two. Man, this was hard. These, this one and two was pretty difficult, but number two, I have Dr. Sleep. Dr. Sleep, I thought was... I, I mean, if you know me, you know I love Mike Flanagan. I am, like, casually obsessed. I think he's such an incredible horror director and always puts so much heart and warmth into really, really dark stories, which I just really appreciate. But I, I really love Dr. Sleep. I'm a huge fan of The Shining, and this movie did everything I wanted it to, and so much I didn't even know I needed. <laughs> so I, I think it's, it's really excellent. And then number one. Can you guess it? I'm sure you can. It's Midsommar. Ari Aster made us a masterpiece last year and this year. This is just like, when I was sitting in the theater for Midsommar, I, I truly felt like I was watching this like masterpiece that is going to live on for decades and decades for horror fans as this like iconic moment. And I know I'm being dramatic, but it's it's me. It's okay, I can I can be a little dramatic. But I just love, I felt like I was watching like a historic moment. And I, I don't know. I just loved every second of it. And I, it's just one of those movies that's almost three hours long, like Dr. Sleep, where the movie ended and I was like, it's, it's over. <laughs> like, I was sitting there just being like, no more. <laughs> and I, I, oh God, I love that movie. It also, that, that um, review I did for it on this channel, uh, brought a lot of new people to me uh, to become my friends and my weirdos on here So I just am grateful for that as well And maybe that caused my vision and you know what whatever it's my channel But yeah guys, that's my list. I I also I feel like 2019 Though it was a hard year in many ways was a really important year on my channel that I hope I remember for a long time this year I got to interview and meet a lot of people in the horror community and I got to have a lot more weirdos meet me on this channel and I could not be more grateful for that. My channel is still quite small in terms of numbers but whenever I hop down in the comments with you guys it feels like so big. It feels, uh, I don't even know how to describe I'm being dramatic again. But it just, I, I love talking to you guys. I love talking to you on here and in Twitter and wherever um, because it feels like I have this like whole group of friends that care about and like the same things I do and we can talk about it and debate about it and it's just it's magical so I feel like 2019 was a really amazing year for horror and a really amazing year for this channel so I just want to say thank you all so much for watching I really really appreciate it I hope you all have a wonderful new year and have a nice screen bye oops sorry p.s. <laughs> I do have one honorable mention that I want to tell you guys about and that is a Netflix show um, I didn't put it on the list because it's a show and not a movie But that is Marianne if you haven't seen Marianne I really really want you to watch it. It is amazing from start to end It is a French horror series on Netflix and it blew my mind and terrified me literally I had nightmares It is the only thing this year that gave me full-on nightmares. So if you want some of those Find your way over to Netflix. <laughs> Have a nice week, guys.